Hey, I'm Rusty. I'm owner of Rusty Strings Musical Instrument Maintenance Services. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a plain string on your guitar in a way that it won't slip and hopefully won't break for a long time. So now we're going to put on the E string. Careful pulling the string out of the package so that it doesn't spring up and hit you in the eye. I'm going to bend down the ball slightly. So now I'm going to insert the ball end into the bridge. Stick the bridge pin over the top of it and slide it in. Of course with a slot facing toward the neck. Um, you shouldn't feel the string slide in as you put the bridge pin in because it may be caught under the bridge pin. You don't want that because it will fly out. And it doesn't have to be shoved in, just put in snug enough to hold the string. Once the ball end is secured into the bridge, I'm going to pull the string down toward the post that it goes in. I've placed the post so that the hole aligns with the neck. And I do that so that I can measure the distance that, um, so that I'll know I have enough winds on the string which would be about an inch and a half to two inches. And I'm going to pull the string back around toward where it's inserted. I'm going to grab the string with a pair of pliers because the small ones are hard to hold. And I'm going to pull backwards so that it locks over the top right there just like that. So now I'm going to wind the peg using an electric string winder, making sure that the string doesn't overlap itself and goes in a downward spiral down the post. I'm going to get it close to tune. Use your finger so you don't break the string. Okay, so once I've got the string on and close to pitch, uh, I'm going to not actually stretch the string but um, make it settle a little bit more by putting my thumb at the first fret and holding the string down. And I'm just going to reach under the string and gently tug as I go up and down. And what this is going to do is make it taut on both ends. And then I'm going to put the string back in tune. Always tune up to the note. Um, you should never tune down to a note because that will loosen the tension between the post and the nut. And you want it to be as tight as possible so that when you play it won't fall out of tune. So I went down below the E. I'm going to tune it back up to it. Now that I've got the string on and tuned to pitch, I'm going to cut that end off a little bit, make sure it's bent down as much as I can, and leaving about an eighth of an inch so that it has room not to slip out. And it should be at a point where it won't poke out and injure anybody or get caught in your gig bag. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, restringing is just one of the many services we offer here. If you'd like to learn more about all we do, please check out this website. Thanks.